This is a disturbing story to talk about. The details just tough to mention. A man is in a psych ward tonight after police say he sexually assaulted a pit bull. And the woman who owns the dog was home when that horrific scene was unfolding in her yard. She confronted the guy, even held him at gunpoint until police got there. News Ace Bob Wilson has an exclusive interview tonight with the dog's owner. He's live in Hartford with more on what she had to say about this whole ordeal. Bob? Alice Woodruff is a brave woman tonight. She told us her story. She had a gun in one hand and compassion in her heart. She's a mental health worker, and she says the scene that unfolded in front of her, literally her own backyard right off the porch, was disturbing, and she's speaking out tonight in hopes of changing the system. I thought my dog had killed somebody because I saw a man underneath her. I started to scream. I had a citronella candle. I threw it at him, screaming at him, get off my dog. Like, you got to get out of here. And um, he said, no. He said, today's the day that we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. Alice Woodruff lives in Waterbury. She says on Tuesday at 10 in the morning, she found a man attacking her dog Layla, described as an aggressive rescue pit bull, who they keep on an 800-pound tow chain in the backyard. He pranced through the yard, naked, just yelling that, you know, this is our day, you have to prosper in it. And, you know, ISIS sent me in, and I'm like thinking to myself, oh, did something like this just land in my backyard? I ran in, I got my gun out of the bedroom and then realized as usual my ammunition is in my car locked in my glove compartment. I showed him that I put the ammunition in but I always kept the gun at my side trying to talk to him. And he just kept saying that this was the plan that, you know, we were going to die today it was going to be a massacre. He didn't seem to care that I had the gun, you know, and I, like I said, I kept it down, gave him a warning and then I shot the gun, I shot the gun to the right into the the dirt. After you shoot the gun, he does take off. No. No, even no. after you shoot it. He put his arms out like this and started coming forward and telling me to kill him. But to know that as soon as I killed him, that we were going to die. Honestly, the whole time I thought there was a bomb or a gun and he was going to take it out waiting, you know, to just do this massacre. Woodruff works in the mental health field and says, standing next to the pile of clothes, the naked man in front of her, she felt danger, but she also felt compassion. I knew he needed help, that there was something mentally going on, and I've been in the field for so long, there's no help for these people. After all this, you're still concerned for his safety? I don't want him to do it to anybody else either. Somebody else would have killed him, and he was only 22 when I found out. So, yeah. Traumatic experience for her. Now, police say that this man was arrested, or actually he's not been arrested, but he's taken and locked up in a facility, in a mental illness facility for tonight, and he will be looked at. If he is released, police say he'll immediately be uh, arrested on charges of sexual assault and cruelty to an animal, as well as breach of peace. Now, a lot of these determinings are extremely detailed, uh, it's disturbing details. We didn't want to put in the story. We actually put them on our website at WTNH.com. You can go there. You can actually watch her entire interview. It's about 13 minutes. She tells you all the details. We want to warn you ahead of time. It is graphic before you get to go to WTNH.com. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.